Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the app summary module inside of mobile action. Before you get started, select the app that you want to examine at the top. If it's not listed, you can search for it in the search box here and then add it to your watch list and then select it at the top. Once it's selected, you can come down here and select the country that you want to examine. You can select it by selecting it from the menu or you can search for it in the search box. Then select the date range that you want to examine. We provide 365 days of data in most of our plans, but if you need more than that, we'll be happy to customize your plan for you so you can get more data. Next, for iOS devices, you can choose iPhone or iPad. And then the top section of this page is going to be a summary of this app. So you're going to get the app name, the app publisher, and the icon. And you can see here that it's this is an iOS app. And when you click on the uh, publisher's name, it will go to the publisher page, to find out more about this publisher and the apps that they have. Next is the visibility score. And this is our measurement of how visible this app is in this country's app store. 100 is the best and zero is the worst. Then we show you the price of this app, the category it's in, and the average rating for this app. If you wanna see more about this app, click on the show more link and you'll see the version history, the description, and the screenshots here at the bottom. You can also scroll through these top two sections to get more information. And to hide the section, you can just click on show less. Now the first two boxes are gonna be the download history and revenue history boxes. As you can see, this data is updated daily and you can move your mouse along the graph to see specific data points. At the bottom of each graph, there is the cumulative uh, downloads and revenue for the time period that you selected at the top of the screen. And if you want to see details, you can click on the see details link to get into the market intelligence module. Now this data will only be available if you have market intelligence. So if you don't see this information inside of your app summary module and you need this information, contact us and we'll be happy to show you how to upgrade your account to add market intelligence. Now that, that is a paid product. So contact us and ask us about current pricing. All right. So the next two panes in this uh, module are going to be the category ranking trends and the visibility score history. So in category ranking trends, you can see all of the categories that this app ranks for. When you move your mouse across the graph, you can see a uh, information box that will give you data by date. And if this app ranks for a lot of different categories and the graph is a little too busy, then you can click on this graph icon in the upper right corner and switch to logarithmic and that will open up the graph and make it a lot easier to read. For the visibility score history pane, same thing, you can move your mouse across it, the graph and get a day-by-day -day look of the visibility score. In this case, it's kind of boring because it's always been at 100, but uh, this can help you to see which dates were really important to an app and when their visibility score really took off. Then you can do some research and maybe correlate that to their marketing campaigns or their ASO changes or whatever but seeing the visibility score history is the best place to start. And then finally, for visibility score history, you can download this graph in CSV format by clicking on this link in the upper right corner. Now let's move on to the next two panes, or the last two panes, which are rating and review trends and audience geography. In rating and review trends, you can see the overall positive and negative reviews by day. And you can see the average rating and the ratings breakdown. For audience geography, this is our estimate of which countries are using this app the most. We get this information using our proprietary algorithm that uses public data, and this can help you see where your competitors are doing well so you know which countries to localize for next. Keep in mind that all of this data that's estimated, the audience geography, the uh, download history, the revenue history, do not use private data. It's all public data that our algorithms piece together and give you a pretty good idea of how well these apps are doing. All right, so that's how you use the app summary module inside of Mobile Action. Give it a try, and if you have any questions, let us know by clicking on the conversation box in the lower right corner. Thanks for watching.